Jay and Kyle. After having a miscarriage, Jay and her husband, Kyle, stay at a beautiful over-the-water resort in Vietnam to hopefully heal from the traumatizing experience. However, Jay still often gets episodes whenever she remembers the incident, proving it difficult for her to sleep at night. But that doesn't stop them from having a fun time around Vietnam, seeing different tourist attractions, and asking about the history of the place. While resting at a beachside cafe, Jay gets a phone call from her mother and her sister, while Carl plays soccer with the staff. Her mother and sister try to check in on her, to see that she's okay and safe, making sure that she's trying to move on from what happened to her. As her phone conversation ends, Jay catches the weather segment on TV, seeing that there's an approaching storm. The to go back to their room with the floating villa, and Kyle is more than enthusiastic about jumping into the water to swim. Meanwhile, Jay is preoccupied with trying to get a decent signal for their phone, but it doesn't seem like it'll be working. Even telling Kyle that the SIM card he bought is useless, trying to get his wife's mind off things. Kyle urges Jane for to stress out about anything and just enjoy the vacation. He also reminds her that the purpose of the trip was to get away from the world for the time being. Convinced, Jay hops into the water, and the two enjoy a moment of sightseeing and swimming. Then, after the swim, they rest for a while, taking refuge at a nearby rock formation, when suddenly, Cole slips and cuts his foot. Seeing the blood on the water reminds Jay of her miscarriage, and she suddenly gets another episode. Cole tries to reassure her, but they end up arguing about what happened when he says that their baby would have died either way. That night, Jay tells Carl that she can't stay there any longer, feeling too overwhelmed by her unpredictable episodes. The storm, thankfully, Kyle understands, telling her that they can leave the next day. As they try to sleep, the storm brews in the distance, starting to get more erratic as time goes by. Then, a sudden noise wakes Jay up. But Cole waves it off, telling her that the storm will pass. Then, they receive a call from the resort staff notifying them that they can relocate inland if they're worried about the storm. But after having some time to think about it, they tell the staff that they'll stay where they are. However, this seems to be the wrong move because a few moments later, the storm gets worse. The water level rises and breaches their room breaking the glass doors before it gets swept along the waves of the wild current. The to get thrown around the room, and the bed slides over to Kyle. Breaking his leg, Jay tries to help him out, but he tells her to call for help instead. Unfortunately, the phone is already dead. The room gets hit by a stronger wave, further dislodging it from the bridge that connects it back to the mainland. Then, the sudden force throws Jay upward and makes her pass out for a few seconds after hitting her head. Cole rushes to check on Jay, and thankfully, she's fine. Although their room is now getting carried by the water away from land, they debate whether to swim for it, thinking they should try to get back to safety before it's too late. Looking back to the land, they try to shout and wave for a help, but the storm is too strong, and they're already getting too far. At the same time, most of the people inland are also scrambling to get away to safety, too distracted to be able to notice them, feeling hopeless. They decide to try their chances with swimming, but before Jay could even go to the water, she slips when they hit a large rock. Carl attempts to lift her onto the beach, but it's becoming too slippery. He then notices another obstacle approaching, fully aware that it poses a threat to Jay. Acting quickly, he pushes her into the water utilizing the currents to guide her to safety. Jay manages to evade the obstacles and swims back to their room, only to find Cole more injured. Despite the sight of blood, she looks away to prevent herself from panicking. Realizing they are drifting too far, Cole suggests waiting for resort staff to rescue them. But Jay insists on taking action, even offering to swim back to signal for help. Kyle, concerned for their safety, urges her to stay put, with no alternative. Jay tends to Carl's wounds before huddling close for the night, hoping for a better tomorrow. However, upon waking up, they discover they are even further adrift at sea. 
with only the basic structure of their room remaining, panicking. Jay expresses frustration that Carl didn't heed her suggestion to stay on the rocks, despite the tension. Carl maintains that staying in the storm would have been fatal. As they continue drifting, they resolve to survive as long as possible, unable to swim to land. Jay searches for useful items below the floorboards, but is startled by a school of fish while recovering. Carl's blood drips into the water, and as the sun rises, a water bottle accidentally burns him. Spotting an aircraft, Jay shouts for help, but it proves ineffective, attempting a smoke signal. They realize it's too late as, as the sun sets, dehydration sets in, and Carl's condition worsens. Fortunately, Jay sees a yacht and, with the sun up again, Carl starts a fire. Despite their efforts, the yacht fails to notice them. In desperation, they inadvertently set their room on fire, forcing them into the water, surviving on planks. They encounter a circling finned animal, later revealed to be a pod of dolphins. As they fall asleep on a raft, actual sharks approach, breaking it apart. Carl falls into the water, bleeding, but manages to return to the surface, unable to climb back onto the raft. He instructs Jay to paddle away. Exhausted and dehydrated, Jay passes out, waking up later to find land, and excitedly attempting to wake the unconscious Kyle on the beach. Unfortunately, Jay realizes that Kyle is already dead, and sees both of his legs have already been eaten by sharks, hence why he couldn't climb aboard the raft anymore. Still, Jay tries to force Kyle awake, but she knows that it's futile. She grieves for Kyle, hugging his corpse, until she finally releases him into the sea. She then starts to dream that Kyle is still alive, his legs back intact, as he says that he'll always be with her. However, when she regains consciousness, she sees the rest of Carl's body being devoured by sharks. For some reason, Jay walks back to the water before getting wounded by the reefs, because of her blood. The sharks get drawn back to her, and one is able to bite down on her leg. Then, as she tries to run towards safety, she grabs a coral and bashes it to death. In pain, Jay dresses her wounds, but passes out again afterward. When she wakes up, she continues to walk inland. And after trudging through a seemingly endless beach, she sees a small cliff. Jay also finds a small coracle boat occupied by a sleeping fisherman, so she immediately swims over and climbs aboard. She grabs a jug of clear liquid, thinking it's water, but as it turns out, it's alcohol. Jay wakes up the fisherman and shows him her leg as she tries to plead for help, wanting to be taken back to land. However, the language barrier is getting in the way. Instead of rowing back first, the fisherman offers to help Jay with her wound, so she lets him. The fisherman turns a hook into a needle and takes a thread before disinfecting Jay's wound with the alcohol, then drinking a bit himself. He instructs her to breathe as he starts to sew her injury before dressing it once more, urging her to lie down and rest. The fisherman dives down to the sea and checks his trap, looking if he has caught any fish, but... Unbeknownst to him, a bigger fish is lurking behind him. As the boat gets rocked, Jay immediately tries to look for the fisherman, only to see blood. As well as the fisherman's severed hand, she tries to remove the boat's anchor, but it's too hard for her to do so. Suddenly, the fisherman appears from below and shouts for her help. Although when Jay tries to help him, he accidentally pulls her into the water. The fisherman tries to grab her, to stay afloat as she swims back to the boat, and when she tries to help him up once more, the shark gets to him again and kills him for good. Jay attempts to lift the anchor again and succeeds, but she's still not safe from the hungry shark. She takes the boat's handheld outboard engine and starts it back up. Using the blades to cut through the shark, Luke tries to lunge at her. However, the shark is still alive and prepares to attack Jay again. Unfortunately, when she tries the engine for the second time, it's already out of gas. Then, out of nowhere, the huge shark jumps from the water and tips her boat over. Jay hurriedly tries to take back the anchor as she sees the shark swim back to her. And while she panics, she still manages to hit the shark inside the mouth with the anchor and kill it. Then, 
Once it's gone, Jay climbs over the tipped over boat. Luckily, it isn't long before she sees a nearby land with people who notice her. Thanks for watching. And if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.